Peace. What's up, Tony from LearnAutoBodyInPaint.com. This quick video, we're gonna talk about how to paint the car to add pearls or flake to clear coat or to use an intercoat, which is a DBC or a DBU 500 by PPG. All right, uh, so let's get into it. I've been getting some questions about um, adding flake or pearls into clear coat, which is I always do. And I'm gonna talk about the pros and cons, not really cons, but I'm gonna talk about why you use, why to do it or when you can do it with a clear coat or why you would wanna do it using an intercoat. Let um, me go ahead and spice this board up with some red marker, okay? D, B, C, PPG brand, okay? Uh, mid coat, color blender, uh, intercoat. All right, there's a lot of names for this stuff. Don't get confused because you don't have to be confused about this stuff, right? It's called a color blender uh, right here. Let me just show you on the screen. So this is what it looks like, DBC DBU 500. It's basically a color blender. It's used for blending colors when you're doing some paint jobs or as an intercoat if you wanna add pearls and flakes. Okay, so here is my answer. Um, do I want to add it in clear coat, right, or use an intercoat, uh, which is this stuff down here, uh, DBC, DBU by PPG? Um, well, here's the deal. I always just mix my pearls and flakes. If you're doing a micro sequence flake, a thin, thin, small flake, then you can just mix it right in your clear coat and put two coats over your car, okay? And uh, you're basically, that's done, you're done, okay? You could, if you want to, you could mix another batch of clear, just clear coat, and go on top of that. But I've sprayed many times just the pearls, pearl coat with the clear. Clear, you can color sand it and buff it, it looks wonderful. I do that to a lot of my paint jobs. I recommend you do this if you're comfortable with your flow and distance with your panel of your gun and you don't run. If you have problems with running your clear coats uh, or paint, I don't recommend doing it because you're going to mess up. Uh, me, I always had a uh, uh, thing in me for not running. You know, I always, I used to paint for other body shops. They used to just hire me to come in the booth and paint uh, because I was really famous for not running and getting an unbelievably glossy finish without having any runs on my paint job. I was really, really I know for that. I don't want to brag or anything, uh, but I'm pretty good when it comes to distance, flow, and painting. So if you're good like that, uh, then no problem. You could go ahead and mix your pearl or flake in your clear coat and put two coats of nice glossy clear on your project, your motorcycle, or whatever you're working on, your complete car paint job, whatever you're doing, uh, and then you're fine. But if you're a little hesitant about messing up and you don't want to run or you know that you run, right, then I recommend getting a DBC or DBU intercoat, okay? It's basically like a clear base coat, okay? So you get this stuff, you mix it up, it's usually a one-to-one -one mixture with your activator, not activator, but reducer, okay? So you say you want, it, you want a half a gallon of sprayable, so you put a quart of uh, your reducer in a quart of DBC or DBU, uh, mix it all up, you add your pearl in it or flake, whatever you want to do, put it into your gun, and uh, go ahead and base your whole project. It'll go on basically like a clear um, base coat. It's gonna dry flat, or you're not gonna have a clear look to it. And then once you have a uniform cover all over your whole car, which we show you exactly how to do within the VIP members area at learnautobodyandpaint.com, uh, you mix up some clear coat, just clear coat, and you put two, three coats of clear on top of that, and that's that, all right? You have less chances of running, okay? So clear coat, uh, you know, if you feel comfortable, if you don't run or sag uh, your paints. Okay, do this if you don't run or sag your paints. Do this if you're a newbie and you're afraid of runs. Okay, so I hope you understood that. I uh, will have the download link 
uh, to the DBC DBU Interco within the blog post at LearnAutoBodyAndPaint.com. So if you're on YouTube right now, um, comment below. I'd love to hear back from you. And also click the description in under the video here. Click the description. It'll take you over to the website where you can also download our free 85-page auto body and paint manual. Uh, we talk all about auto body and paint. It's 85 pages of full content uh, that I think you're going to like because a lot of people like it. All right? Do that. Download the book. And also, get on the blog there and comment below. I'd love to hear back from you. Uh, like the video. Share it on Facebook. Tweet it. Whatever you want to do. Spread the love. I thank you. And I hope you enjoyed this short little video uh, and le learned kind of about intercoats and using a DBC DBU uh, mid-coat intercoat uh, to mix your pearls in. Spray your car. So it's basically a, you're doing it. You're making a tri coat out of this whole thing now. You know what I mean? You're doing your your base coat on your car. So say you have a white base coat. You want to put a red pearl on it. So you mix your red pearl inside of your DBC DBU. Uh, spray your old car. It's going to look flat with the pearl on it. Mix up your clear coat. Put it on. You're done. All right. That's three stage. Two stage. Do your white base. Mix up your clear coat with a little bit of pearl in it. Two coats of clear, three coats of clear, done with no runs. All right, you're not going to have the pearl's not going to affect the gloss of it, and you don't really have to put a clear coat on top of it. Uh, I've done many custom jobs without putting a clear coat on top of it, and I've done many with putting an extra clear coat on top of it uh, per customer request. Uh, so you could do it either way. All right. So again, it's Tony from LearnAllAboutBodyAndPaint.com. Thanks for watching this video. Like it, share it, and I'll see you on the blog. Bye bye. Mm -hmm.